So today we create a really cool looking title animation in After Effects. Boom. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool looking title animation in After Effects. Now, before we begin, let me tell you guys that this tutorial is purely for beginners, for people who are just getting started with After Effects. So I will be covering the basics of the After Effects in this tutorial. So if you are kind of an intermediate to advanced level user, then this tutorial may be a bit too simple for you. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do. And let's rename this to main because this is going to be our main composition. 1920 into 1080, 60 frames, 10 seconds looks good and hit OK. Now let's create one more composition for our text. So let's rename this to text and this is where we are going to be typing our text so let's type in something like maybe modern creative you can of course type in anything that you want something like that let's make this white and also i'm going to center this up also i'm going to change the font to something like maybe Montserrat. really cool font let's make this bold make it a little bit more bigger and bring this a bit closer just like that pretty sweet let's go into the main composition and drag in our text composition into the main composition i think it's a bit too small maybe i'll just make it a bit bigger something like that center this up okay then i'm going to select the rectangle tool and let's set the stroke to around 20 pixels and create a rectangle just like that Go to rectangle part one, unlink the size and let's tweak it according to our text. So something like this big. Also center this up. And by the way, if you don't know that I'm using a move anchor point script, but if you don't have the script, you can just select this anchor point pan behind or, you know, I don't know what really it's called pan behind anchor point tool. And you can basically move the anchor point, but you can hold shift. So it's going to snap in into the position and i think if i hold control and double click on it so it's gonna center the anchor point as well let's check it out no alt yep alt alt and if i if i just drag this anchor point and if i want this anchor point in the center i can just hold alt and double click right over here so it's gonna just snap it in the center and then you can just align this just like that simple and let's rename this to line and let's change the color to something like maybe something like this one looks pretty cool there we have it and for the text i'm gonna bring this really close maybe something like 50. okay cool now let's animate the stroke so let's go into the line properties and let's add a trim part to this and now we can animate the stroke using the end property just like that. All right, so let's set this to zero. Create a keyframe. Let's go to maybe one second forward in time and let's set this to 100. Then I'm going to create a keyframe on the offset. Go back in time and let's set the offset to minus 90. So now we have something like this. Pretty cool. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes, go to graph editor and if your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure to right click and set it on edit speed graph. Your graph editor will be defaultly set on edit value graph just like this. So right click and set this to edit speed graph. Then let's select this point and drag this handles just like that. So now we have a really nice and smooth animation. I think it's a bit too fast so i'm gonna just make this make make it maybe around one second 30 frames let's see yep this looks much better and for the text i'm gonna go to right over here select the text and hit p for the position create a keyframe go back in time to around right over here and just drag it just like so all right now let's go right over here 
select the rectangle tool and we this time we don't need any strokes so i'm going to set this to zero we need the fill something like a gray color maybe doesn't really matter and this is going to be our track mat for our text so i can create something like this let's rename this to m for mat and let's drag this on the top of our text so now we have our text just like that and change the text track mat to upper mat so now we have something like this and if you can't see the track mat option you can just go right over here go to columns and there we have you know the options or the modes that we need or you can just click on toggle switches just like so simple let's select the mat and i'm gonna drag it a bit about just like so so now we have something like this Let's select the text and hit U so we can see the keyframes, select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes and let's go into the graph editor and let's drag this handle just like that. So we have a really nice and smooth text animation as you can see. Then I'm going to go to 2 seconds alright, and select the pen tool and let's set the stroke to around 25 pixels and create a stroke just like so maybe just like that pretty simple and also I'm gonna center this up so let's rename this to stroke and bring the anchor point in the center and align this in the center just like that so it's perfectly in the center all right maybe I'll make it a bit bigger let's go right over here select the pen tool just drag it just like that And align it in the center perfect now I'm gonna add a trim part to this again and animate the end property just like that so let's see our animation stops right over here create a keyframe on the end property go right over here and let's set this to 100 so now we have something like this select the keyframes hit F9 go to graph editor and drag this handle just like that pretty cool I think it's a bit too fast maybe I'll just drag this to around with two second and 30 frames let's see and select the keyframes hit F9 go to graph editor and I'm gonna create kind of a peak for this animation make sure to hold shift just to be a bit more precise so now we have this really nice and snappy animation okay this is looking pretty cool Maybe a bit closer to 2 seconds and 15 frames maybe. Let's see what we have. Okay, pretty cool. Right over here. And then what I'm going to do is, let's create a new adjustment layer. So hit Ctrl, Alt and Y to create a new adjustment layer. And let's rename this to R for right. That is the right side. And I'm going to bring this adjustment layer just like that and rotate this let's say around something like that just trying to be as precise let's see what we can do right over here maybe i'll add a fill pretty quick just so that we can see the line you know just to be a bit more precise perfect 31 degrees looks perfect and then we can just delete the fill all right and let's add transform to this and I'm gonna basically just animate the position right just like that so we can just tweak this one you know all right you get the idea right so let's create a keyframe hit P to bring down the position oh sorry for that let's create a keyframe right over here in the position go to around three seconds maybe and let's drag it just like so also make sure the layer is on the top of our text and also the line just like that let's select the transform and let's move it according to our requirements so now if i hit u we can see we have something oh i forgot to create a keyframe right over here go and let's oh we are moving the anchor point that's the problem so let's hit ctrl z 
come back again and bring this below our stroke let's go to 2 second 15 frames create a keyframe on anchor point and the position hit u go to let's say 3 seconds and drag this just like so just a little bit just like that as you can see it's not properly aligned up so let's align this by zooming in pretty sweet and I'm going to do the same thing with the second text so I'm going to just duplicate it by hitting ctrl D on the keyboard alright and I'm going to place it just like so let's call this L for left side hit U so you can see the keyframes so now we have something like that let's go right over here select the transform property and I'm gonna drag this just right over here so now we have something like this pretty cool let's select the L and the R layer hit U so you can see the keyframes select the keyframes hit F9 and go to graph editor and drag the channel just like that so now we have something like this which looks really cool and interesting and as you can see it is really really simple to create so right over here I'm gonna type in my secondary title or text you can see so let's type in maybe something like unique design and make it maybe something like a medium make it small a little bit place it right over here something like that and let's select the text and hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe and I'm gonna drag that keyframe to around let's say 3 second and 30 frames somewhere around there and then just drag this below just like so so now we have something like this pretty simple select the keyframes hit F9 graph editor and just place it somewhere around just like so pretty cool and I work a lot in graph editor cause you know understanding graph editor is very very important to create some really nice and dynamic looking animations so maybe I'm, I'm thinking to create kind of a tutorial series on dedicate you know dedicated on graph editor if you guys really want it let me know in the comments section below and I will try to create it as soon as possible so hit U so you can see the keyframes go right over here select the rectangle tool we don't need the stroke again and I'm just gonna create a shape and again this is gonna be our track mat or maybe I'll just place it somewhere around just like so and then we can change this or bring this on the top oh it's already on the top let's rename the gem for mat and change the track mat to alpha mat there we go and also I'm gonna bring this below our text so let, I think I need to increase the size of the oh, oh it's working on the transform property that is why so I'm gonna hit control Z cause the transform layer the adjustment layer are affecting that so I'm gonna keep it right over here select this track mat and I'm gonna change this to maybe alpha inverted so now we have something like this pretty sweet let's go right over here and crop this up by holding alt and close bracket so now let's see what we have pretty nice now the same thing I'm gonna do again so I'm gonna just type in my third text so let's type in maybe something like dynamic animation you can of course type in anything that you want I think it's a bit too big let's type in simple simple look that looks better place it somewhere around there 
okay pretty cool let's select this both the layers and hit U so you can see the keyframe I'm gonna go right over here create a keyframe on the position of the text and exactly the same thing I'm gonna do again so I'm gonna just bring this just right over here select it F9 graph editor and drag this handle just like that Maybe something like this maybe I'll just drag this a bit forward in time just to make it a bit more smooth something like this pretty cool and for the mat I'm just gonna duplicate it by hitting Control D bring this on the top of the second text and let's turn this on so we can see it and I'm gonna place it somewhere around there there we go and let's change the track mat to alpha inverted so there we have it let's see our complete animation so far oh I need to crop this up so I'm gonna right over here and crop this up by holding alt and close bracket and we are done so let's check out a complete animation now pretty nice and as you saw it is really simple and easy to create which looks really interesting and complex as well and one more thing that I want to show you guys is to reverse the animation which is very very simple all you need to do is select all the layers and hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it let's call this title hit ok hold alt and close bracket to crop this up to let's say yep somewhere around there hit ctrl d to duplicate it go right over here in the time and time reverse layer hold shift and just drag this just like that so now we have the reverse animation as well and one more thing that you can do again is to add some shadow or reflection you can say is to pre-comb this again let's call this animation hit ctrl d to duplicate it set the second one or the bottom one hit s to bring down the scale properties and unlink this let's scale this down just like that somewhere around there bring this below and add a fast blur to this Also, we can play around with the opacity. So now we have a really nice reflection or shadow you can see at the bottom. You can see this looks really, really nice. Maybe I'll hit S and maybe I'll, we can, you know. Something like that. And increase the blur just like so so now it looks really really interesting so that is really simple and easy to do and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to hit that like button so that i know that you guys like the video and yep that is all for today so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative